So welcome back. The time has come for a November setup. I've decided this month to do something significantly simpler than last month. Um, as some of you mentioned you prefer simpler monthly setups and I think so far I do too. Um, the October cobweb was a lot of fun to set up but I still isn't exactly what I'm looking for so I'm going ahead and trying the more traditional bullet journal monthly view with the sort of add-ins that um, Kara from Boho Berry mentions. Like she has hers divided between, I think, morning, evening, and night. Um, for this month, I'm trying morning, evening, all day, and then my husband's schedule um, so I can keep up with his work stuff. Um, title page, this is where I will put in goals. Because October still has a little while longer, I'm not completely certain how many of those goals might need to be rolled over into November and what good November goals are going to be yet, but this is where I will add them. Um, here, as usual, we have the November tracker. Um, I removed a few things that I just wasn't doing. There are also some things that I didn't do at all in October, but I still want to do, so they're on here. And I always hope. Um, I was going to try a new gratitude tracker um, based on a line from Rainer Maria Rilke that says, I live my life in never widening circles. Um, but I actually messed up setting this up. I divided it into seven sections so that each circle could be a week, but I started numbering and numbered from the inside out, so it doesn't actually lay out the way I had intended for it to. But that's okay, I still have room to write in, especially since I'm using an ultra micro um, Uniball Signo Pen. It's a 0.38 milliliter, uh, mil milliliter, millimeter. Um, tip so it can definitely I can get multiple items in each of these segments so that is a new tip on that this is my setup for my mood mandala um, and you can see I've added in another section here last month I just let the mandala kind of take up the whole thing but I'm hoping to improve it in a few ways so I still have my key down here um, and I've measured it out so my mandala can actually be in the appropriate size sections. So this is a, a full square. And then down here I have a little calendar for each day so that even if I don't go in and draw the segment of my mandala for that day, and even if I do, I can go ahead and put in the top two colors for the day or you know, one color if it was one thing cheaply all day. Um, with the way I've been doing my mandala, it's really helpful in some aspects, but other aspects, because I'm doing things that I like the way they look, aren't super helpful when it comes to seeing how intense a mood was or something like that. So this is just another step towards a more analytical tracking on that front. And that is it. Um, I might end up participating in NaNoWriMo and doing a spread for that, but right now I'm still uncertain um, and will start my weekly here unless I put in um, something for NaNoWriMo. So anyway, this is my November setup and um, I'll be doing an October review soon, so look for that and you can see how everything's getting colored in. Um, if you have any suggestions on NaNoWriMo trackers that you're doing for yourself or uh, mood or habit trackers that you, not habit, but mood and emotion trackers that work well for you, there are tips you think I should add into the mandala, I would love to hear that. Um, so hope you're having a great day and happy November setup!